Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions, your Luban channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems. So, um, today we are going to look at a few things on AutoCAD and we are using the um, 2007 version. And then um, we are going to look at how we are going to plot or let's say use coordinates here, yeah, use coordinates to um, plot. We are going to use the coordinates to plot. And um, the coordinates we are going to use are actually coordinates we got from um, one of our competitions, um, the videos on the Travers competitions. Those are the coordinates we are going to use. The links to those videos will be on the description section where you can um, see how we actually got the coordinates of those points. So um, before we do that, we need to just um, set a few things up on the AutoCAD. So there are different tools here. We are not going to spend time today trying to explain this to However, as we progress on using the software, we are going to see how much or how well we are going to use, use this tool. So the first thing we want to do now is that we want to set the unit up. So we come to what? We come to format. And on the format, we come to unit. Actually, you can type in unit as a command, U-N-I-T-S. Then you press enter. It will take you to this particular pop-up window. However, you can also access it from format. Then you click on the unit so the length type is in decimal our uh, precision is in three decimal places then the um, angle type is in what in degree meter seconds then the precision is also what degree meter seconds we are moving clockwise therefore we have to check this then our units is in what in meters we measure in meters then we we'll come to direction change it to knots okay and then we do what i think all the stuff to set under units have been set so say okay so i think that's the first thing you need to understand when you um, launch this uh, 2007 version of the AutoCAD. now the next thing is that um your points could have been gotten by writing it in a book or maybe you downloaded it from an instrument and it could be an excel file or any other file format however we are going to use the points that are written on a notepad for this particular exercise so we've actually written the coordinates of those points on the word on the notepad there and then we save it as point now the first the next thing again after the setting of the unit is when you want to save the point you save it as what as a script file so we've actually written the coordinates of this point and we've saved it as well but we are going to show you how you can also save it on your own system so you come to file you say save as so when it the next window pops up just choose a particular name maybe the file name you want to use we use point and then the next thing is the extension so the extension is script so we say dot what dot scr are we together now this dot scr indicates that what it's a script file right good so you now save it so see it's already on the system it's asking us if you want to we are not trying to replace it, we are only trying to show it as maybe as an example. If we still decide to save it again, it's still the same word, still the same script file. So let's just save it for the purpose of what saving it. So we just say yes. So we now know that this particular the coordinates of the points that we picked on site or we downloaded from the instrument that we've actually imported to notepad or written on notepad has been saved as what well as a script file for the particular destination on the on the system so we minimize it now the next thing is that we are going to choose what a command so we are going to choose one of the line tools which is what which is polyline so we haven't chosen polyline they are asking us to specify the starting point however we are not going to use on this first method we are not going to use the coordinates directly we are going to run it as a script so you come to tools you click on tools and you come towards you come you come to run script on this run script, you click on it. The next word, the next dialog bo box will just load. Then you see what the points you've actually saved on your system. So these are the points we've actually saved. This is the file. So we click on it and then we what we open it. Having opened it, the next thing you're going to do is just press enter on your system. What do I say? Press enter on your system. So by the time you press enter on your system, you won't see the points. The points are there, however, you will have to zoom it to your screen. So you say what? You say 
z enter e enter that simply means zoom extent that simply means what zoom extent i hope you got how we you understood how we got to this point you go to tools go to run script you select the file where you saved your script the folder or maybe a name you used to save your script file and then you bring it to the um, you open it next thing you come back to the autocad environment and you press what you press enter twice or your space bar twice then the lines that are connecting it might just disappear or whatever the case is you might not even see the shape on your screen the next thing you are going to do is what you press z enter e enter that's so next thing. so having done that you now see the shape on your screen so this is actually the shape of the four-sided figure we actually maybe surveyed on site or at the case maybe are we together good so that's one method or that's one way of bringing in points onto the world onto the autocad environment now this can be for maybe you went to survey land for someone then later you prepare a plan for documentation and the rest of that we are not going to discuss about that on this video we are going to discuss about that on our subsequent videos now there is another method with which you can bring in points into this autocad board autocad environment there are different methods so let's look at the second method so we are going to um let's delete this so we delete this the next we still come back to our notepad where we've actually saved our point so on saving this point we can still decide to say let's put that command of polyline on the script file remember that the first thing when we ran the script file we used we picked the polyline from autocad or we can still save what we can still save the script file so we can still save the script file by adding that um polyline command or let's say that polyline tool so how do we do that is simple we just um do that by typing underscore p line that underscore p line indicates that we are trying to use the polyline tool on the software so we just save this new um save this new file as points as we have saved it earlier so we just save it as point as we have saved it earlier have not written the underscore polyline then after that we can now go back to what you call it we can now go back to the software from tools we go to run script and then on run script we assess the file again as it is there we open the file as we have saved it and we do what we double tap the space bar because the shape is already on the screen so we double tap the space bar upon double tapping the space bar we find out that the shape will just be formed closed are we together good so this is one method or this is another method rather of bringing the points to the what to the software this is another method of bringing the points to the software now there is another method again we are going to use and then that will be by copying the coordinates and then pasting it um, on the um, space bar or on the on the command bar or maybe where we are going to type in the coordinates so we still come back to the um, notepad we try to edit it and the next thing we are going to do is we highlight all the coordinates as many as or maybe as much as they are or whatever number we just highlight then copy it then upon copying it we just come back to what to the autocad environment we now pick the polyline tool so upon picking the polyline tool we'll see that it's now active as a command and when they say we are this is specify the point we just paste those points that we copied so upon pasting them there next thing we are going to see on the screen is what this this shows that the words the points have been plotted so the next thing is what you top tap your space bar to form your form your polygon so these are ways you can do what you can bring in points onto the autocad environment so thanks for coming to class i hope you've learned a thing or two and please if you're a new viewer subscribe to the channel and if you're a returning viewer please Thanks for coming back to the channel. So I'll see you again on the next video. Until then, make sure you stay safe. Bye.